Welcome to Testing AI. In this channel, I break down different AI tools and keep you up to date with the AI world. If you like this video, make sure to hit subscribe. In today's video, I'm going to use ChatGPT to find the time complexity of your code and potentially improve the quality of your code. Sometimes when you're practicing for interviews, you might not know how good the quality of your code is. And a lot of times when you do text screens, you might come up with a question on how to improve the code you just wrote. For instance, if you write a piece of code using the brute force method, you might need to improve it on the fly. And to practice for this, you can use ChatGPT to try out code challenges from different websites like LeetCode. But while practicing, you might need to check if the code you just wrote is of the right time complexity. The main kinds are constant, logarithmic, linear, linear rhythmic, square root, quadratic, cubic, exponential, and factorial. I'm going to use three pieces of code here, and I'm going to test out what kinds of time complexity they have using ChatGPT. Before I get started, I wanted to mention that this is the fifth video in the prompt engineering series, and if you haven't watched any of the previous videos, make sure to watch at least the first one where I explain the prompt structure I'm going to be using here. Also, I'm trying to reach 1000 subscribers, so if you get some value from this video, make sure to hit subscribe. Alright, to get started, I want to explain the prompt structure I'm using here. So I want ChatGPT to tell me the time complexity of my code. I will provide my code in angle brackets like this, right here. And I want it to explain the reason every time it provides an answer. For example, if I provide a piece of code and it tells me that it's O log N, I want it to explain to me why that is the case. Uh, I also don't for the exclusions, I want to make sure that it does not tell me commands unless I instruct it to do so. The language I'm going to use today is Python. The first example I'm using is a piece of code which gets me the largest element in a given array. So for an array like this, I want it to return me 9808, which is the largest in that array. Let's use this code. So originally, I thought this is going to be on because I was expecting it to traverse through an entire array and get through all the n elements. However, I'm using the max function in Python here. So it correctly tells me that the time complexity of those, this code is 01. The reason being it's a constant time operation instead of a full scale array traversal. If you maybe try a different language and go through the array one by one, this is gonna be on. But since I'm using the max function, this is 01, which is correct. The next example I'm going to use is the quick sort algorithm using Python. I also provide an example array where this is the unsorted array before the quick sort and the quick sort happens here and then I print out the sorted array in an ascending order. So I get the answer that the time complexity of the code is n log n on an average case and n squared on the worst case, which is correct. It also explains that since the function quick sort is a divide and conquer algorithm, it divides the array into two subarrays and recursively sorts them. This means that the time complexity is on when n is the size of the array. It also explains that the time complexity of the partition function itself is on. However, the quick sort recursively splits the array in half, making it on log n on an average. In the worst case, the partition does not divide it into two equal cases. That is why it might be n squared in its worst case. For the last example, I'm going to use a piece of code in Python which finds all the partitions of a set. So for the last example, I'm going to use Python to find all partitions of a set using recursion. So the time complexity of this code is n times k. This is because count b is a recursive implementation. The function makes two recursive calls for each function call. The number of calls is proportional to the value of n and k. That is why the time complexity is o n times k. So overall, I think ChatGPT is a really great way to improve the quality of your interview practice. Because sometimes when you're writing code, you might not know if the function is the most efficient it can be and ChatGPT can help you out in explaining why your code is the way it is. I've not seen websites doing this really well, so I think this is a very unique case where it can help you out. I hope you got some value from this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for upcoming tutorials. Thank you.